Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel with TrailandMountain.com and today is a pretty exciting day. Today um, I'm doing an unboxing of the Swan Bolt HD high definition helmet cam or action camera. Very similar to like, a, um, like most people think of GoPro when they think of a helmet camera. Uh, GoPro makes a great product. Um, apparently so does Swan. Uh, so they make their, uh, their Bolt HD and um, I'm going to open the box, show you what it's all about. Um, it actually it comes with quite a bit, so it's pretty pretty close in features on the box that the GoPro is. Um, and I'm talking about the new GoPro, the, the Hero 3 Black. So um, let me open it up. I'm going to move the camera around so you can see what I'm doing, and uh, let's get started. All right, so here's a little bit of a close-up. Sorry about the glare. There we go. It's a little better. Bolt HD. And uh, here's some of the specs right here. 1080p video, 12 megapixel still images. It's waterproof up to 32 feet or 10 meters. Uh, uses a micro SD card just like the new GoPro. And uh, it's got a 135 degree angle, uh, wide angle lens. And uh, you could also, it has the, the USB cable so you can transfer all your files and everything. So uh, it gives you what's in the box. All the information also gives it to you in Spanish as well for those Spanish speakers. But I'm going to open it up. Camera. It's all sealed in its own little guy. Okay. Nothing in there anymore. Nothing up my sleeve. Really, really small. This thing is very lightweight. There's your lens. It's got a little protective plastic on it. But there's your your camera. Nothing else to it. Pretty simple there. This guy by itself. I'm just gonna stand it on its end here. If you can read that, there you go. You can see it. 2.3 ounces. 2.4 ounces. I'm sorry. And that's just for the camera. Let's see what the goodies come with. All right, first off, right out of the gate, comes with a nice little soft pouch. Carry your carry your camera in. There's all your cables, your goodies. There's your USB adapter cable, so you can charge it. Your audio video cables. Way cool. Remote control. Wireless remote control, that's a plus. Another little, this looks like one of the mounts. I believe this, this looks like it would be a, yeah, this is a handlebar mount, it looks like. So that's cool, it has a little rubber strap. Lock that bad boy in place. I like rubber because it's, it's sticky, you know, if you put it on something, it's not going to move. Looks like we got another, some kind of adapter. I don't know what that's for. Another one here. Not really sure what these are for, but you get two of these. So we'll read the instructions here in a minute. And this looks like a um, seat post mount. So we got a seat post mount. And what's funny is this mount looks very similar to that of the GoPro. I'm pretty sure it's compatible, but we'll get to that in a minute. Some sticky Velcro there. More sticky Velcro. A couple of strips there. This right here, which I'm not really sure what this is supposed to do. A couple uh, elastic loops here and a more sticky Velcro. We have, ah, this is the power adapter. So there's the um, another mount right there for your adjustments. This appears to be, and I think it is, three M backing quality surfboard mount. So it comes with a surfboard mount too. That's really awesome. And. Um, it also comes a couple other little things here. Three 
books. And uh, looks like a congratulations on your purchase. So here's just a quick, you know, a little warning. Stop before, you know, read this before. But, you know, if you have any troubleshooting, go to swan.com. And I'll put the link right here so you can check them out. Uh, they make a lot of cool stuff from high-definition cameras to security cameras to um, helicopters, remote control helicopters, all kinds of fun stuff. So check these guys out. These guys make good stuff, and they've been around for a while. So you have English, Espanol, and Francais. So I do not speak Spanish. I do not speak French. So I'm going to set those aside. Gives you full-on um, control. Gives you full-on instructions on what to do, how to set everything. Um, really well put together. So, changing the resolution, playback on a computer. Um, now I use a Mac, so this thing should be compatible with both. But I will uh, do another um, video after the fact and show you the resolution and how it looks on screen. So there's that. I'm going to get the camera now, and I think this little back cover either unscrews or this little guy pops off somehow, and I don't know how to do it. I should probably read the instructions, huh? So, um, rear cap. I don't know if you can see it, but there's two different... Let me get it close enough. You have on the right hand side here you have your indicator LED that tells you you know what you're you know if you're recording or not. Over here on the other side, this is a target laser. So this is actually you can laser beam this thing to something and get on target uh, for what you're trying to film. So I'm still trying to figure out how this guy opens. There it goes. I just wasn't being aggressive enough with it. So it unscrews, screws in place. So there's all your stuff. USB, HDMI, you can set your resolution here. You have a factor reset button. And uh, yeah, and even the little slot for your uh, micro SD card. So I happen to have a micro SD card. This is a little tiny one. This is just a one gig, but you get the idea. So you just plug this little guy right there. And then you get your little fingernail so you can do it. And now it's in place. You pop it again, and you can take it out. Pretty easy for those of you who have used these sort of things. So, um, very well put together. I really like how easy everything looks here. Um, and also, too, that's... I don't think it comes with the... That's not a lens cap. Because uh, this guy... Oh, I know what this is. This is not a lens cap. I'm sorry. This is for recording. So I believe your microphone comes out here too because this has all these little tiny holes in it. This one does not. It's also for making this thing waterproof. Okay, so if you're going to go take this thing under water, you don't want to use this guy because you know why? Water will get through all these little holes. Use this one. Screw it in place. And it has a little, you can't really see it, but around the edge here, kind of see it there there's a little o-ring and that's what will seal this thing from getting wet so there's that I'm gonna um, this right here this is the charger for it and the charger has these different um, mounting plates that I believe just kind of snap into place Not really sure how that goes. Oh, here we go. That's how it goes. So it goes like that. So these these little guys pop in right there and slide into place. Or you got this one, which is a little bit bigger. So when you're traveling overseas and they use different outlets than we do in the United States, boom. You plug this guy into the wall and you're done. Get your USB cable. Plug it in. Start charging it, which I'm going to do right now. I'm going to plug it in and let this charge, and I'm going to use it this afternoon and just test it out and see how it, how it goes. So I'm going to disconnect 
or unscrew the back cover here. I'm going to plug in the USB and I'm going to plug it into the wall. All these other mounts, you got a handlebar mount here, so that's going to go there. This guy is going to unscrew and that's going to go there. Do not drop the bolt. They do not give you extra bolts. So, that goes like that, and you're set. Swan's been around for almost 26 years now, so these guys really know what they're doing. Um, their technology is really up to date, and these guys are awesome. Uh, stellar company, they've been around for a really long time, as I said, so definitely check out swan.com uh, if you need surveillance cameras, or if you just want to make some really cool videos and you want a high definition camera that's going to do that. Check Swan out and um, you will not be disappointed. Um, their mounts are compatible with GoPro mounts, so that's really cool if you already have a GoPro and you want to make the jump to a Swan or if you just want something different just to play with. You, you know you don't have to buy separate mounts, so that's that's another plus right there. Swan.com also has additional accessories uh, as well as the mounts, but they also have additional accessories if you wanted to buy additional batteries, uh, screen protectors, all kinds of cool stuff, so they have all of that. Uh, on swan.com so check them out and uh, there's the link again one thing I really do like about this is it comes with a battery it comes with a remote control for uh, a battery for the remote control these guys think of everything swan so far I'm very very impressed um, I'm probably not going to use these because I have HDMI um, this looks like it goes on the helmet so that's what I'm going to use because I have a helmet mount already on my helmet. All right, so um, I wanted to show you this too. This is really cool. So here's your, this is what it comes with, what the Swan comes with. It's a, um, it's the helmet mount. And if you notice, the mount looks very similar to that of a GoPro mount. Um, I have a Kali Amara mountain bike helmet. And the Amara has a built-in slew of accessories that it comes with. And it came, it came with this which is a GoPro mount. So this little guy actually fits really snug, I might add, but it fits right there. So when I have my helmet, I can just slide this guy right in place and then boom, I have my Swan helmet mount already set and it's secure, it's not gonna go anywhere. So kudos to Kali for um, making an awesome helmet that has built-in camera mounts as well as headlight mounts and all that stuff but uh, check out Kali.com and uh, they have awesome stuff so check those guys out too um, but yeah this guy fits right on here as I said it does fit really really snug so you kind of have to force it in there but it does fit it does fit so I am going to put this on my helmet and go for a ride all right guys so that's my review or unboxing review rather of the Swan Bolt HD um, Really, really cool design. I really like this, and I am going to set it to the 1080p um, resolution for my mountain bike ride later on today, and I will give you an updated review on the resolution and how good it looks compared to other HD cameras out there. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in to TrailerMountain.com. Please um, hit the subscribe button and subscribe if you like my video and you felt it informative to make a good decision on whether or not you'd like to buy this uh, the swan uh, that's all I got for right now guys thanks so much for tuning into trailermountain.com again and have a great day get outdoors